So you're probably wondering, is the CCNA enough to actually land that first network engineering role? Um, and I've had this question before and I'm pretty sure you guys all had questions about it and I've gotten so many questions about this in the comment section. So let me just dismay what I've seen in the industry and a little bit about my experience so we can go from there. So a little bit about, a little bit about me, um, I went from college degree, got a CCNA, became a network engineer. There was no sort of knock role. There was no sort of uh, network admin, no help desk involved in my case. And that was just my case. Um, I, I know certain people, they go through the ladder where they, they get the get the network, uh, they get the help desk, the network admin, the knock, and then finally network engineer alongside the CCNA. But in my case, I went straight from degree CCNA network engineer. That was my complete roadmap. And I believe that roadmap to be very doable and very realistic. Um, but, but for some of you guys who are not, you know, don't have college degrees, um, it may be a little bit more difficult to do that. And I'm just going to be completely honest, um, especially in today's industry, it may be difficult because obviously the market's a little bit harder to find positions, things like that. So there's some things to combat that and, and having a set roadmap and routine, um, for yourself to kind of guide yourself into becoming a network engineer is very key. So is the CCNA enough? Yes, but it depends. Okay. Um, it depends on your experience level. It depends if you have a degree. It depends if you're in the right market, if you depends if you are at the right time in a sense. So it's, it depends on a lot of things. Okay. Um, so don't be too, you know, don't, don't just assume, Hey, I'm, as soon as I get the CCNA, I can get, I can get any role with absolutely no experience in the industry. Um, it's definitely possible, but is it, but it will be much harder. And the reason I say this is because when you do these interviews, the, the number one thing they're going to ask you is, do you have experience? And you're going to have to find a way to combat that answer. Because if you say, I don't have experience, that's a one-way ticket out the door. And I'm being honest with you guys. Like, if you have no experience, it's much harder. Or no degree, it's much harder to actually get in. Because that's like the main thing to look for. Uh, especially when you guys are, because when you guys are network engineers, you're working on the network. They want to trust you to do something. And if you don't have any experience or you haven't done it before, it's going to be more difficult for them to trust you to actually work on the networking equipment. Because it takes more time to train you. There's a, there's a risk involved of you messing things up because you don't, you're not a re really aware. Um, and just you, it, like, for example, um, if you're hiring a plumber and it's his first day on the job, he's never done any, uh, he has no reviews, nothing, like he's never worked anywhere, uh, but he has a credential. Would you trust him more or less than someone who's has a credential or someone without the credential, in fact, but still worked as a plumber for 20 years? Who would you trust more, right? It's very common sense. You go for the guy who has 20 years of experience with no credentials. So don't just assume the credential is going to, in a sense, make you become a network engineer. Um, it, all it really does is it solidifies your skill. It shows that you can pass an exam. Uh, but the main thing that I like about getting the certification is it justifies your skills that you've learned. And it shows that, okay, you do have the skills that are required for becoming a CC, becoming a network engineer. Like that just, it just has the baseline skills for it. But in my case, um, I had, you know, the degree in the CCNA and I fell into an opportunity where they're willing to train a, a brand new, a brand new engineer, uh, straight out of college. But if you guys are in university and still in school, and I've spoken to a lot of you guys and what I do recommend is get an internship ASAP. doesn't matter if you're a freshman, junior, doesn't matter. Get the, get, get an internship, get experience as soon as you possibly can. Don't be the person who, you know, gets it, goes to college and then works a job that's irrelevant to what they want to be. It's just a waste of time because if you want to become a network engineer, you have to be doing things that are networking related, right? Because experience is such a valuable asset to have in your resume. And for some of you guys, without that experience, it's going to be hard to kind of convey and convince the job recruiters and in, in, in the, in the, and the technical interviews as well when they're asking you questions that are deep, like deeply involved in networking. And, and you have some sort, you have no real story to back yourself, no sort of experience to fall back on, explain your details that what you've done prior to working. Um, it's it's going to be hard. I'm going to be honest. Um, it's going to be hard to do that. Um, but there's ways around that. And one, one thing I re highly recommend, and I've talked about this before, is to get knock roles, okay? Get knock, get network administrator. Those kind of roles that sort of tie into, you know, sim like you work closely with network engineers or you're working on networking equipment. Sometimes you could be a network admin and you could, you know, obviously it's a, that seems like that role is pretty general in terms of IT, but in general, I, I, it's the experience is going to, I, it's, hard, it's so hard to explain, but in reality, the experience that you get is just going to propel your career to a higher level that you guys just will understand. Um, like in my case, like 
the the difference between me trying to find a job now as a network engineer prior to having no experience to when I have experience now it's much more easier because during interviews you can convey yourself you can explain what you did in detail right um, but if you you know work if you worked at a role that had nothing to do with it and they're asking you questions about it you can be like you know it's hard to explain yourself so that's key try to get experience even if this experience is very little another thing that I recommend you guys do is do uh, volunteer work right and I, and I was speaking I was speaking to a guy where he, he didn't have much relevant experience for networking. And I told him, like, the best thing you can possibly do is try to volunteer somewhere. So he went to his church. He volunteered at his church to, you know, configure routers, configure some switches for, like, their sort of, like, office or whatever. And that itself, like, you may think it's nothing crazy, nothing special, but that itself is ex incredible experience that you can just add to your resume and explain in detail. Because, obviously, you'll be working on your own, most likely, or with a team. So you can explain, you know, I did this, I did this, I did this. And, you know, I troubleshoot a couple of things and whenever things go wrong, I'm there. Um, we can figure this. I learned this about that. And, you know, when you go to the interview, they're going to be like, wow, they're going to be surprised about it. They're going to be impressed. Right. So that those kind of things, you're going to have to kind of beef up your resume and kind of explain yourself during the interview process. Um, but like I said, the, the main thing is the CCNA will get you past some of the gatekeepers as well. So obviously, when you apply to jobs that are you like a junior engineer or just even like regular engineer they're going to ask like do you have any certifications um or really not really going to ask for it but when you apply to the job the ats system which is basically the system that auto rejects resumes now if you don't have if you don't have certain keywords or you don't have certain credentials so ccna is kind of a thing that will kind of put you through the door sometimes um but obviously that's that's one step getting through the door is one step getting the job is another step, right? So that involves you doing well in these technical interviews. They're going to ask you very technical questions. They're going to ask you to explain them and not just the service level stuff. They'll ask you, how do you use it? You know, in what sort of, sort of scenario would you do this? You know, that, those kind of things. And if you don't have that real life experience, it'll be hard to do. And even a lab environment, it's very hard to kind of do those things. Because obviously when, in a job, there's so much more that's involved and you're doing so many more things that you have to Remember those kind of things, and it's it could be difficult at times. So, is the CCNA enough? That's the real question. Is yes, it is. Without a doubt, you can you can go from a CCNA and become an, an engineer. I've seen people do this. This is one hundred percent possible. But is it harder? Yes. The best path to do, in my opinion, CCNA or get a network, get get like a knock or a lower level engineering role, a networking role, while practicing getting your CCNA. And then get maybe a year of experience under your belt, and then at that time you should be ready to go because you'll be you'll be you know getting mentorship from other engineers. You'll be you know studying for CC to helping passing that. You'll have more experience in terms of like working in a job environment and seeing what they do on a day to day basis. Maybe you'll be on call. You'll just see stuff like there's so many things that are involved that you, it's hard to learn by the book. You just have to do it on the job. So getting those experiences is key. So I'd say yes, it's possible. It's going to be harder. The best path is. You know, get like a lower level position while getting your CCNA, then apply. That's the best way. I think that's the best. So don't waste your time. Don't be the person who says, I'm going to get my CCNA and try to apply to a senior position because it's going to be, you have a mountain to climb and no one's going to hire you. It's, you know, it's going to be extremely difficult unless the company just needs an engineer and they're willing to train you for uh, however long it'll take. So um, if that's the case. Um, it's definitely possible. And if you guys, if, to go back to the people who are trying to get degrees, um, or who are like in a, in a four-year degree program or anything like that, what I do recommend you guys do is get your degree, but at the same time, get internships that are networking related. Okay. Or even like even IT admin, those kinds of things are good, but networking is the gold standard, especially for internships, because the best thing you can do is you'll be work at the internship. And then after a while, you know, you'll get to know the people, you'll build a relationship with them. You know, you'll learn some of the technologies at the same time, you'll be using your CSCNA so that time you'll you know be you, you'll be in a good position, and hopefully towards the end of the internship, internship, especially if this is like your senior or even junior year, they'll potentially offer you a position, and that's like one of the coolest things about it. I had a friend who had, was in that same position. You know, he got an internship, and as soon as like he graduated, they offered him a position even before, even before he actually graduated college, they offered him a full time position. So, it's doable. That's the best path if you're going to college. If you're not going to college, lower level position, get your CCN at the same time. After a year under your belt or even less, apply to roles, fix up your resume. I'll make a video about resumes as well, but that's just the gist of it. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we're, we're getting very, very close to a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. And it's, you know, it's absolutely amazing. So um, if you guys want to hear and see more videos, feel free to subscribe. If you like the video, give it a like. 
And feel free to comment. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Is a CC enough? Is it not? Tell me about your experience. Have you gotten a job with just a CCNA? I would love to uh, speak with you guys. So feel free to do that and uh, have a good one.